Guten Abend, meine Damen und Herren. Draußen an den Bildschirmen, an Computers, wo immer Sie sind. Normalerweise weiß ich das, dass Sie alle hier wären, was aus pandemischen Gründen nicht geht. Sorry, I have to talk English. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, out there and the screens on television or whatever computers. Normally, you would be all here in this big hall to enjoy the normal jazz festival of jazz ahead. Uh, we have now a band which I said now already. This is the name of the band, the Now Trio. It is based, the musicians are based in Cologne, and they come from Brazil. You say actually Brazil, Brazil, um, from Chile and from Holland. And the mixture is, of course, with South American rhythms and African rhythms, because uh, the percussionist and drummer is a Dutch musician. Uh, and the ingredients in, of the compositions of, uh, uh, and, and the improvisations is rhythm and melodies dominate this. And I'm really looking forward and I'm very happy that I can present you the Now Trio from Cologne. I hope you enjoy the music.
Thank you so much. It's an incredible honor and such a huge pleasure for us to be here this night, making the music we love, being in the same space, in the same time, something that doesn't come very easily these times. And um, it's a very important day for us. We're really happy to be here. I would like to introduce my great friends, Antoine Daukers from Holland in the drums. He's bringing all his Senegalese and um, influence and drums that he brought during his stays there, and we're very happy to have the, him on this project. Next to me, my, my brother Jean-Luc Camas from Chile. And my name is Enrique Gomidi from Sao Paulo. Thank you. We are now trio. Just like a short uh, explanation about the name of the band now, is a word that was used in archaic Portuguese for a boat that would travel within continents. And we are traveling within many continents ourselves with our music. And the, the sound also brings us the idea of now from English, the, the being in the moment, the importance of being present and feeling the moment every time we're together making music. Um, this first song was called Partido Alto, a composition from mine that is in our first album called In the Ocean. You can listen in your favorite platform. And we're going to go on now with a new composition by Jean-Luc Camas called Para Mi Viejo, for my father. And that's one of the songs that we will record in our next album. We plan to record it later on this year. Have fun.
Thank you very much. That song was called uh, Kölsche Samba. And we're going to close with one more song that we're going to play now. And it's called Reborn, uh, Kölsche Samba, the one you just heard and the one you're going you're gonna to hear now. It's part of the first album we recorded. And we're very happy, as my friend said. And once again, we really want to thank every one of you being here, like the cameraman, the sound guys, everyone. We really appreciate that. I know it's a lot of work you guys been doing here, and we as musicians, as people, as I don't know, we appreciate that. It's a lot of work, and we know that. And for that, we want to thank you guys all. And yeah, thanks for sticking around, and we're going to play one more song for you. Thank you.
I loved how they were taking a bow to that non-audience of two clapping enthusiastically. The Now Trio live here in Bremen at Jazz Ahead 2021, the all digital version, which is also the reason um, we had these sort of technical difficulties. Imagine this being the real Jazz Ahead and all of a sudden everybody being in freeze mode and uh, sort of not being able to uh, speak for a couple of minutes. And then someone just setting reset and we'd all go about our business again. Well, um, let's see, maybe... Uh, that'll happen one of these days who knows but uh, what will happen one of these days is that we will all get together again and uh, share our experiences also during what we will then call that uh, old pandemic back then remember when we all had to wear masks remember when we couldn't get together in bremen yeah i mean it will happen eventually who knows i mean uh, rather sooner than later, if you ask me and everybody else, but um, I'm sure it will happen. We were talking to Tilo Weber, who had uh, created this music, uh, this new music of the Fawn Renaissance, uh, based upon music that was almost 500 years old. And uh, back then people had issues, serious issues, and they thought they would never get out of it. Mankind was doomed and uh, we're still here for whatever reason. Um, it's uh, pretty much, um, I can't explain it. I'm not even gonna try, nobody can. Um, but I'm, I'm glad it is what it is. I'm glad we're here. I'm glad we're here in Bremen for Jazz Ahead. You know, this is a huge production. Um, it may like look like this is just a green screen with something going on. This is actually a huge screen um, that is uh, much larger than any wall in my my apartment. Actually, probably than two or three together. It's a huge space. You can now see the expanse of it. And uh, we're really happy to have this going on. I mean, like I said, the audience down there, it would hold 1,700 people. And uh, now we have actually two members of the NOW trio with us uh, to do an interview. I'm so glad it was uh, so quick. Boy. Hey. Thank you so much. How's it Thank going? Thank you. Hey. Very good. How are you? Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so are we. I mean, you know, it's it took a while. It was supposed to happen last year. Mm -hmm. Then you had sort of a, a, a gig, um, a release gig in the loft in Köln yeah. um, to present your new album. And now you're finally here to, to really present it. One uh, year later, yeah. 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 <laughs> But still, it's very nice to be here. We uh, really appreciate that because there's a lot of energy involved that you guys have been uh, investing in this project, and we appreciate that. Like, after a year being here, I don't know, but for us, it means a lot. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. It's... Um I see your names, and uh, I was glad that you pronounced it at least for a hot second. So I would have just said Gomide, but it's Gomeji. Gomeji, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. From okay. São Paulo, né? we oh. have this, this accent. Mm. <laughs> yeah, sounds much, much better than <laughs> what I just did. I'm sorry, I apologize. No, no, that's <laughs> <laughs> but your name, Jean-Luc Camas, uh, Jean Camas does, does that really sound too Chilean for me? <laughs> no, I always get that question because my parents <laughs> like French names i guess my my sister's name is michelle and but yeah we don't have we have nothing to do with with france <laughs> i mean like no not really no. it's, it's like, a it's a good thing though that they didn't you know like germany for instance or you'd be called hans jürgen or so, you know sure yeah so you're sure. much better off with them liking french but the translation is juan some sometimes my friends and my my parents my my brother they call me juan which also fits, you know? Yeah. You're here as part of the German Jazz Expo because you're based in Cologne. Yeah. How long have you been there? Well, each of us a different time. Antoine, our drummer, was the first to, to move to Cologne. He's for more than 10 years now, living there. Wow. 
Uh, I moved five years ago, and you came four years ago, no? Yeah, yeah four. Yeah. And you moved to study, or...? Um... I think your story is different. My, I, 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 you, because it yeah. was for love, right? I mean, there is like... I also came for love. And oh, so study. the best reason. Yeah, yeah. come on. Yeah. <laughs> I actually had lived before in, in the Netherlands, two, two years, okay. where I met Daphne, my wife. And we were struggling, f finding out where would we live. Because she was then living in Stuttgart, and I was half in São Paulo, half in the Netherlands. And somehow Cologne was, we once biked there, very crazy. We biked and f f said, that's it, let's try it. And I studied composition at Hochschule, met this guy, so. Wow. Yeah. This new album that we just talked about is called In the Ocean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the story behind that? <laughs> I think I like jazz. I, I used to work on cruise ships as a musician. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I would be on like on the road for for a few months. So I wrote one song that is called "In the Ocean," because of uh, the gigs that I used to play there. And yeah, it was um, that's the reason why we chose the name. I think we like the song. Um, yeah, for me, it's very important what I did, like the process I I, I had here, in, like with the with the cruise ships because it was a personal development for me. And yeah, I learned a lot. And that's the reason why I decided to come here in the wow. first place. Yeah. Wow. So in the ocean. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. I think the way you combine these different elements, you were mentioning the Senegalese drums, mm -hmm. and of course the samba jazz, and then you know the music of Chile, but you have, you create sort of a, what was that, the culture samba? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How German is your music? <laughs> how how yeah. German can music be? <laughs> yeah, the, this song, it, it's funny because I started to write the song. I wanted just to write a samba. <laughs> I, I said, let's write a samba. And I had just moved to Cologne. I was listening to so much different music. And when I finished, I was like, oh, this is actually in seven. And what I'm, this is not really samba anymore. It, it w was blending some stuff I was listening back then. So that's also a bit joke with the name. But I think we, we are in a city with so much music. Nah? Cologne is impressive. I, th I think you, you know there were five bands from Cologne just playing here. Like, yeah. There's fantastic music the whole time. And it's a very inspiring place to be. I thought I was going to move there to study. and But it's very, very nice to be there and also to absorb of all the, the musical different uh, influences that are around, you know, and to put it in our mixture here. I love that you associate a seven beat with Cologne and not a four four, which uh, <laughs> some other people might do, but uh, <laughs> it's, yeah. uh, that's very refreshing too. And yeah. this atmosphere that you describe in, in Cologne is one of openness. I mean, yeah. as, as that's true. I've experienced it. Uh -huh. How do you collaborate with other musicians in Cologne? How does that feed up? each other i mean there's mm -hmm. so many bands yeah. there are also so many big bands i yeah. mean yeah. for a <laughs> town that that's small uh, i think we we have had collaborated with several different musicians you know i'm I, i'm happy to be part of some very nice projects with musicians that i met in Köln, like aicha miraj a great singer from from turkey with my wife is a classical violinist and we play a duo also with brazilian music and stuff and I have written some arrangements for a great band like the Subway Jazz Orchestra they have there and saw these amazing musicians playing my own music and uh, it's, I think, we, we are uh, happy to, to be there and to, to be exploring our musicianship with the, the people around and we will for sure in our next album call some, some of these musicians. I won't say yet who will be but we'll have some pretty nice guests in our next album coming up. That's a goal, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's great. I mean, I remember uh, musicians from Brazil and especially when the bossa nova craze hit, you know, and all the Americans, the jazz musicians wanted to play bossa nova and they were going, that's, that's really not it. Do you ever have that feeling when somebody plays a samba or... Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean... You don't have to say names. I mean, no, you know, no, no, no. it's just... <laughs> uh, from my experience, I love it when musicians just... Uh don't necessarily try to do extremely authentic because that takes a while. You must be really immersed. And I love when they actually put their own vision of Brazilian music. Okay. And uh, I'm extremely happy with uh, how one to one approaches it because he got really some authenticity from 
do, from his African uh, learnings and experiences, but he plays his own sound. We, we always say that it takes one note that you know that Antoine's playing. You can listen whatever recording, like, yeah, that's this guy. You know, and th th that's what I love about uh, musicians that are playing Brazilian music. Don't try to just be extremely uh, authentic. Just play it. Because you know? you'll never be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, Brian Blade's a great example. I've heard him playing an album with the music of Hermedo Pascual. It's so good what he's playing. And it's not really Brazilian, but it's just music. It's pure yeah. music and passes. Yeah. Uh, it works so good. There you go. Yeah. Uh, and also, I think for, for us, it's kind of similar because, I don't know, like, Cologne is recognized for being like a little bit open, free type of kind of jazz. And for me, it's totally different. I come from, I don't know, from like the melody. So for me, it's hard to play mm -hmm. their music. And I'm not trying to, to copy that because I know I'll never be able to play the way they play. So I think you'll always have to take something good that you find in, I don't know, a different style. Make it part of yourself, but in your own way, well, words, you know, like you learn a language, but you still have your speech. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's that's my like my idea with the with the music. Yeah. Which you learned the hard way, uh, performing on a cruise ship because <laughs> that, that's a totally different gig. I mean, yeah, did you? Yeah, that's a different gig. Yeah. Were, were you on the jazz band on the on the cruise ship, or were you playing yeah, we top were forty? Uh, theater, so we would play like shows for I don't know. I guess in our they come, they bring the the charts, the partitures. You have one hour rehearsal, and then you have to play two shows. That's like. Yeah, four times a, um, a week or something. But you also play jazz. Sometimes you play country. Sometimes you play, I don't know, a lot of type of music, but nothing specifically, you know? What were you playing for yourself, or were you not playing at all? <laughs> well, I was, you mean in my free time? or Like, yeah, in your free time on the boat, I always while everybody my else was up on the pool deck, and you were downstairs going like... Yeah, indeed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was because I would always bring my electric double bass, which is like a very thin a piece of wood, not with the sides from... Yeah. The, acoustic bass so I would go to the backstage where the dancers would dress like dressing rooms and I would just practice you know? that sounds good actually going yeah, backstage I, to where the dancers would dress um, I would <laughs> that's another <laughs> subject <laughs> yeah. you know this actually reminds me of <laughs> of some jazz musicians like really older cats from um, from the states telling me that that's exactly how they learn to improvise and play music not looking at cheap music because they were playing with Lottie the Hottie. Mm -hmm. She's a very well known stripper, okay. I think, either in Detroit or LA. And they didn't want to do this. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> so, sorry. A little aside, and I'm not uh, feeling, yeah. <laughs> saying that he did any of that. But, um, but it's, it can be. I, as I heard from from many friends, I mean, you're you're there. You have to really work on the music on on such a ship, and you're really you know you're needed to supply whatever is uh, is wanted. Yeah. And it's it's not like your own personal musical expression. Oh no, 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 no. That's 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 not craft. That, that's not um, I don't know. That's not art. You just go there, do the job. It's pretty good though. You save money, you travel, you know, like yeah. it's, a, it's an easy gig. You don't have to be playing. Well, you do sometimes play every day, but um, you play only two hours. It's fine. You have most of the day free where you can practice more bass or, I don't know, just chill out in the pool deck. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds pretty good, actually. But that's not where the name of the group came from, the now. No. It, it no. wasn't that type of boat. <laughs> no, <laughs> certainly no, no, no. Well, he can no. explain that, yeah. Yeah, I think I mentioned the now already. We were. Uh, thinking about names and stuff and the boat was a good representation of what you're doing and yeah i mean this traveling thing obviously and and the water has something to do with with all of you and i think so yeah this there's so much water on this earth yeah. and it brings us all together yeah. or it used to at least <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because um, these boats used to like um tie two continents so it's like our History, I would say, because we came here from different continents. You know, we both come from South America, and Tom comes from from here, from Europe. But uh, he studied in Senegal, so we like brought um, background from different continents, and we we established them here. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, we're basically boats. 
yeah. but it's that is a very uh, to me it's a very romantic notion still of mm -hmm. thinking you know uh, how back then when you see those boats and you realize these three mast barks they're only a hundred years old you yeah. know it was back then actually in my family there were uh, captains uh, shipping these uh, these boats to South, South America wow. mm -hmm. and we were always going oh that's so great and so uh, and then when we found out what they were doing there yeah, yeah well <laughs> not <laughs> so proud <laughs> anymore and, and it's actually an interesting topic because of course in Brazil we had this long slavery process which is still we couldn't yet heal from it you still see the, the consequences that are terrible out there and um, but somehow if this didn't happen we would never have this this african heritage and this music N not many that this was a good thing at all no no but uh, yeah. and uh, and by the way i have to say that uh, my dear great grandfather uh, they didn't transport slaves but it was <laughs> i know no no it was, no, no but <laughs> just saying yeah. just you know sorry <laughs> okay uh, no but it's, uh, but you're right it's uh, the the ways of the world yeah. are so uh, unexplainable for us you know exactly. so I in that respect we might actually think what good could come out of this pandemic <laughs> exactly yeah and I, I can actually see positive things that will come out of absolutely this. yeah we we had all to adapt learn new ways uh, this guy here for example up one year after the pandemic became a super video maker photographer people are finding their new directions <laughs> And really? <laughs> yeah, because I always loved it and I never had the time to do it. So once I had the time, it was like, oh, I might as well just do it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, wow. I'm very happy with that. And also with music, I think once you take distance from your situation from, I don't know, in my case, I was very immersed in music. So as I took a little bit of distance, I saw, uh, I saw the music from a different perspective. So that was actually good for music yeah. because yeah. sometimes you need, you need air, you need to breathe. And I like a lot to think about how will look the first gig we'll play afterwards, you know, how will, with the packed bar. And I, I really think it will, after we have gone through this, it will be an amazing time for musicians and for getting together. I prefer to, to hope, of course, not easy, but yeah. look at the positive things and, and keep, keep on going. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I must admit that um, the other day, I think it was the first night, uh, Baji Asad was, mm -hmm. uh, you know, sending in something from Sao Paulo. Yeah. And in my presentation, I said, oh, it's, you know, Brazil, a place I would much rather be right now. And then I thought, um, <laughs> yeah. in general, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. it's it's terrible. I mean, I, I have friends in, in Rio who haven't l left their apartment uh, yeah. It's, it's a since. very hard moment there. Politically speaking, we have a catastrophe. It's very, very bad. And the pandemics are not looking OK. We don't have there in Brazil the same health care we have, for example, in Germany. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a hard times. And we just let's hope that these vaccinations will, will really bring something uh, as fast as possible. Yep. Yeah. How's the situation in Chile? Not, mu not much better, I think. But I think the vaccination system is doing pretty good. So the um, I, I don't know, a lot of people are getting vaccinated. Like even my little brother, he's 26, 27. He already got one, the first. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. It's working. Yeah. Uh, we'll hope that the uh, like the shots are going to work, the, the um, vaccinates. So uh, yeah, I have a positive uh, feeling about this in terms of, I don't know, family or cultural, uh, like the culture as well is going to be better. So um, yeah, let's see what comes out of this. Yeah, I I really appreciate that that view of you know, what else can we do? But especially as improvising musicians, you know, you've learned to deal with obstacles that are <laughs> set in your way. And so have you? I mean, what you have built here is amazing. You know? <laughs> yeah. One year ago was not possible, but still, you guys keep going and you're yeah. here, and yeah, that's also a sign that you guys been keeping up yeah. not uh, only musicians you know like and i think you, so yeah. many venues afterwards they will keep on the streamings together with the uh, uh, there was even a, a talk about that in jazz i had I, yeah. I watched and i think many people will use their new ways now f for the future as well no? yeah we also teach uh, i teach and i had to teach a lot of online classes in the beginning i was like oh my god this makes no sense <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I see now actually some small student of mine, she's seven, she was playing this hard song the other day really well. And we thought, wow, we started this already in the pandemics. Né? 
and we we can find a way, man. We yeah. should always try to find a way. Yeah. Yeah, Heidi Bayer was here the other day, and she said for teaching that the hardest thing is motivation mm -hmm. through a screen. Exactly. You know that if you if you have someone and if you feel that closeness, yeah. it is much easier. And also, you know, going to a class other than going to a class is still a difference. But yeah, yeah. yeah nothing replaces the yeah. physical. Yeah, yeah, and we we will find that so much more when yeah. <laughs> it's over. I think, yeah. you know, uh, 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 so many times I've walked through here and go like, "Wow, next year I will be telling people wow, how ridiculous." Remember when we were all wearing masks? Yeah. And, <laughs> and yeah. I sincerely hope that will happen. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah. We talked about a lot of your music. We talked about how you got here. We talked about Cologne. What else is there? <laughs> Are there things you want to share with with the audience? I mean, yeah. Well, hear about the the new album we're we're planning to record. That's yeah. right. I yeah. mean, not only have you uh, recently released, yeah. well, <laughs> recently, yeah. kind of because sort of pandemically yeah, because, uh, because that was actually in May, twenty third of May, I think. Yeah. 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 Last year. So it was a year ago, okay. and we've gathered some new music we had. That, some, that some was actually another positive side of this, because we wrote a lot of music in this time. Yeah. I think we have at least nine new songs that were written during the pandemics, and that we so have already already a, a, a repertoire. Yeah. So we have to now see the organization way to do it, find a nice label, and um, we have two guests I already talked to. They're in, and they're amazing. So I will save for the for the uh, the future to announce it. Perfect. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank Enrique you. Appreciate that. Of the Now Trio, and uh, in a few moments we'll go back down to the stage to hear actually the next band. Believe it or not. <laughs> Thank you very much.